my beautifuls, it's me Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys my Ipsy bag for November 2018 and I'm so excited to share with you guys my little November Ipsy bag for you guys. Um, for the most part it was pretty okay. Not the best month I don't think. Um, but this is what the bag looks like. It is this beautiful dark royal kind of purple with little black hearts on it. And it's like a faux leather little bag. And it has a gold zipper lining and the little charm right here says Ipsy and it's all gold. So it's really cute. I think the bag is adorable. And then the inside of the bag is like this hot pink. It's lined with hot pink, which is kind of cool. And then the little card for this month is in here. Um, I'm not sure what the theme is supposed to be for these bags. I feel like over, I feel like this year or so, the Ipsy bags don't really have like a certain theme to them anymore. So, uh, but this is just what the card looks like. Um, so I'm not sure what the exact theme is. I'm, it just on here has like a text messaging of like Thanksgiving. But, um, that's just what it looks like. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I guess they have just lost the whole doing a theme for the bag, I guess, kind of type of thing. But, um, anyways, that's the card. Nothing too special. But the products inside are. So the first two products that did not fit in the, the little Ipsy bag were two face masks, which you guys know I love my skincare. So anytime I can get skincare in an Ipsy bag, it is very nice because then I don't have to go out and buy this. But I have gotten a lot of sheet masks over the years of being with Ipsy since 2013. Um, so, two face masks, and these are by Timeless Beauty Bar, which I've never heard of. They actually are cruelty-free. They're made in the US. Um, so I'm really excited to try these out because these look really kind of cool. The packaging is kind of cool. Um, so they're called Timeless Beauty Bar, and the first mask that I got was Up in the Clouds. It's a sheet mask. Um, this one is a hydrating, yeah, this one's a hydrating and refreshing mask. It's supposed to make you feel good, feel cool, fresh, luxurious, and it's best for frequent flyers. And the benefits are they're intensely hydrating, rejuvenating, plumping, and nourishing, which is really cool. So that's what this little one looks like. And then this is just what the back of the little sheet mask looks like. If you guys want me to do like sheet face like mask reviews, let me know because I would be glad to do them. I think they are kind of fun. I actually kind of like watching people do like sheet mask and or like clay mask reviews. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see something like that. I would be happy to do so. Um, and then the other mask that we got from the Timeless Beauty Bar was the, excuse me, the Glam and Glow sheet mask this one is for brightening and revitalizing it's also says that it's cool fresh vibrant and it's best for a night out and the benefits are for radiance boosting even skin tone and it's energizing which this looks really cool i like any kind of face mask that can make me feel very glamorous if so um so that's what this one looks like so these are going to be fun to try out because let's be honest, who doesn't love a good sheet mask or trying a bunch out at once? Um, so I got these. don't even know where to put them. I'm going to put them right here. I think. All right. So now for the products that are actually inside the Ipsy bag. Um, the first thing right here is actually from Jelly Pong Cosmetics, which I've never heard of their brand, so I have not never gotten anything from them. They're cruelty free. This brand, the packaging is kind of cute. I like the little box of the little eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow pigment type of thing. Um, they're vegan. They have no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, hyperallergenic, and non 
comedogenic. Um, so it's really cute. I think it, the packaging looks adorable. Kind of celestial type of looking. Um, so yeah, this is a little pigment shadow. Um, which, um, to be quite honest, I don't really use pigment eyeshadows. I don't like dealing with messy shit stuff. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's in a little jar like that. And it is a blue color. I'm not going to swatch it, unfortunately, because I don't quite know if I'm going to actually use it. It's like a turquoise tealish blue color. And I don't really want to swatch something that I know I'm not going to most likely use. And I think, to be quite honest, I might have something that's already, like, in a palette of this of this kind of type of color or something very similar to it. Um, I think from one of my palettes from Proudly Colourpop matches something quite similar to this little Jelly Pong pigment shadow. So, I am not really too fond of it. I think the color looks pretty nice. I saw, like, um, on my Etsy page of what it looks like out of the little container the pigment. It looks beautiful, but it's not something I think I want to mess around with. I'm not a kind of loose pigment type of girl. I um I don't really use those to be quite honest. Mostly I have just like a bunch of palettes or singles um that are already crusted I like to play with. Um so not really for me. All right. The next thing in here is actually from Tarte, which I love Tarte. Um, Tarte is amazing. Um, and it is one of their 24-hour Amazonian clay blushes. Oh, no, this is the 12-hour blush. Oh, I think they're 24 hours. Is that something else from Tarte? Oh, I don't even know. But this is a little Tarte blush, which I do have one of their Amazonian clay blushes blushes i got it in a past ipsy bag i believe and i think it was an exclusive shade i think to the ipsy bag let me see i have all my blushes right here um the last tarte blush i got from my ipsy bag was in the shade feisty and these are their 12 hour blushes i thought they were 24 hours for some reason but this is from a past Ipsy bag. It is there. It's the one in Feisty, which is more of like a neutral kind of looking flush tone blush. Um, and I have used it quite a lot. And I think I've included it in, I think, like a blush favorites video. And that didn't come in a packaging. When I got that blush, that did not come in a, in a little packaging like this. So this one um, is really cute in the packaging. And Tarte has nice packaging. It's like all purpley and royally. So this one's actually in the shade Quirky, um, which looks like this. It's more of a like pinky peachy tone, which I'm excited for because look at that and for some reason i always smell my beauty products thinking there's like gonna be some type of smell oh yeah it is like a pinky peachy color my hands are freezing so hopefully I, my makeup swatch is okay since my it's like cold all right so here is what a swatch of that looks like it is very much a pinky peachy which would look really nice blended out and just give like that nice kind of flush to the cheeks i like these types of colors like if i'm in a pinch or something and i want something kind of like natural or yeah like has something kind of natural looking um for a quick go out um i like using my tart blushes uh, sometimes because they have kind of like those naturally flush color tones that would be good for the the cheeks and stuff so this would look probably really nice blended all out and stuff like that and i like it it's so cute and pretty so definitely in love with that and i do recommend 
the Tarte blushes. If you're looking for a good blush that's kind of, you know, like high-end and stays in place and just looks good on the skin, I recommend the, the Tarte blushes. They're really nice. And anytime anybody re recommends a Tarte blush, um, I'm all for it because these are really nice blushes. So, and they're cruelty-free as well. All right. The next thing in here is from NYX, guys. And you guys know I love NYX. And I haven't gotten anything from NYX in an Ipsy bag in quite some time. And I haven't taken the little... I didn't take the little thingy off this. Um, but I'm a big fan of NYX, especially their lip products. I think I get excited anytime there is a NYX lippy or something like that because that's what i mostly have gotten in my ipsy bags from nyx i got i think a blush one year when i first started out with ipsy i got a blush one year um and then i mostly have gotten a lot of lip products and this is something i don't have from this line from nyx these are the nyx velvet matte lipstick and it's in the shade Volcano, which this is literally the perfect fall kind of red, I think. Or kind of like going into winter, you could wear it as well. But when I think of like fall colors, I think of like maybe really dark reds and stuff like that. So this is perfect um, because this is a dark red. So that's what it looks like. And it feels nice. Even the packaging feels matte and it looks matte as well. And so this is the color, which, oh my goodness, that is pretty. It's like nice dark red, guys. Yes, that, oh my gosh, that's going to look so, I like that. That is beautiful. I don't have a, think, dark red like this. It's kind of like almost between a mix of maybe like a, a dark red, really dark kind of like red, and maybe like a burgundy-ish color. This is really pretty. I really like this and I cannot wait to wear it because I don't have a color like this in my collection. I do own a lot of red kind of um, lipsticks and stuff and like lip glosses and things like that. So to now finally have this kind of little baby in my collection, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy pretty happy so if you have not tried any kind of nyx products out definitely go check them out because they are amazing and then the last thing that i got in my ipsy bag which is something i was kind of disappointed in disappointed in with because of the sizing of it more or less this is the tiniest sample i probably have gotten ever in an ipsy bag maybe um this is from Ciate um, London, London, which is, they are mostly known for, I think, their nail polishes and stuff like that, but they have branched out and they have done makeup now. And I have gotten some really nice products. My cat just knocked down my stuffed animal. Baby bunny, hope. My little kitty just knocked down my stuffed animal. Silly kitty. Um, but I've gotten some makeup from them and nail polishes from them, um, from my Ipsy bags. He's gonna knock something else down, probably. Way more. Yeah. Life of living with cats. Knocking down everything you own. Help. Silly. But this is from Seattle, London. This little, tiny little sample. Here's what it looks like. Um, the little container is kind of cute. And this is supposed to be their Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Which, um, has a little tiny sifter and stuff. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to open this quite yet. But... This is the tiniest sample I think I've ever gotten. I'm not sure, um, this is not even going to cover a face. Um, I think this is mostly gonna be probably used for maybe my under eyes, maybe. But yeah, I would've 
why I don't know why this was included in the Etsy bag or why they decided this was a good sample size because I've gotten bigger things from Ciate like this. I've gotten a highlighter that's bigger than this um, from them and they've sent me nail polishes from this brand but this is like the tiniest sample I've ever seen in my life and you can't even use this for a whole face because there's no way you're going to be able to put a big huge brush in there unless you're going to tap that stuff out and things like that still not gonna work but um I might give it a go might just use it for my under eyes to see how it works because you know how hard it is sometimes to set the under eyes see there's hope you see him see his little paws that's hope he's waiting to knock something else down I think right hope so that's that little container it's cute though so yeah um not the greatest month in my opinion but i got some pretty good products indeed i think i'm most excited for the face masks the lip product and the little blush from the november ipsy bag um but yeah you know some months are better than others to be quite honest and you know not every month is going to be great um but um that's just my opinion um <laughs> oh my goodness what's my color on my shirt um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time have a beautiful and magical day and i will see you all in my next video love you guys bye